The beauty about travelling on a barge is that you can literally stop at every town along the way or in the middle of nowhere. We discovered the most magnificent bookstore. It was absolutely incredible and just the smell of old books. I miss that smell. I haven't smelled it for so long. Now this is what makes the south of France. Just the ambiance and the vibe of the people. The joie de vivre. <laughs> I had to include Mauritius in one of our final destinations because I love coming here. Mauritius is the perfect holiday destination. You can't beat it. Sand, surf, clear blue skies, and chances are the weather is good all year round. You know what the thing is? We've spent the last 26 weeks working so hard that I just want to chill the next couple of days. <laughs> You've been working so hard. <laughs> you know what I mean, moving from hotel room to hotel room, packing my bags every time. It's been really tough, I must be honest. It's Get not it. easy no. having a first-class, no. five-star lifestyle. Well, Inez, final destination, Ile de Maurice. Uh-huh. Merci beaucoup. <laughs> the villa is something else. I mean, you just got to see it with your own eyes to really appreciate it. It's huge. It's, it's a villa, it's a house, it's got a pool, then it's got that turquoise ocean in front of you, it's got a barbecue area. It's the kind of place that, it's the perfect setting to finish an epic journey. <laughs> Ching chung chuck for the master bedroom. I know, we both know it's mine. It's rule of thumb. When we're traveling, I get the best room. I'm the girl. This is the only villa that you have on the resort. Who yes. stayed here? Recently, Robert De Niro, Nelson Mandela. We had a lot of royalty and sports stars and movie stars who stayed here. It's, it's a hotel within a hotel and it's private and people like their privacy. So you're going to be sharing the bed with some very famous people. <laughs> I will indeed. 6,000 euros a night. It's quite a lot. But I tell you what, it was worth every cent. The one and only here in Mauritius was one of the first? It's the first one and only. It's where the concept was born. Um, and we're very proud. We're 34 years old this year. We'll celebrate our birthday in October. Now, the one thing about Mauritius is it's flooded with resorts. Why is this one different? It's probably the highest regarded resort because of its history, because of its clientele. The service is very personalized. You've got an awful lot of team members looking after you. And these 10 members have been here for 20 years. They, they really know how to look after guests. And I think once you've stayed here, you know, it's got something. I can't explain it, but it's definitely got something. It's an amazing place. Oh, wow. <laughs> this room is so fantastically grand with a beautiful four-poster bed. And it's only 20 meters away from the ocean. This is spectacular. I'm going to love staying here. And the fact that I get to share a bed with the likes of Nelson Mandela, Robert De Niro, oh, and the piece de resistance, a beautiful vanity area, a wardrobe that can finally fit all of my clothes and shoes in there. Oh, wow. And probably one of the most luxurious bathrooms I've ever seen. Look at this. Take a look at this place. The picture shows you everything. And for the first time, the reality has really kicked in. The journey is almost over. Five hours from South Africa, and this has been just the most incredible experience of a lifetime. Jeannie and I have been traveling from city to city, place to place, culture to culture. So many incredible people, so many fantastic experiences. And when you're traveling, you don't realize that you're living by the moment, day to day, you don't realize it's actually going to end one day. And here I am, final destination. And I'm quite sad. It's all over. So all that's left to do is unwind, kick back, soak up some sun, and reflect on 
what has been the most incredible and amazing journey of a lifetime. I'm just lying here reflecting on the past five months, three weeks or something like that, and it's been incredibly insane. And watching Inez <laughs> behaving like a child in the pool, it just made me think about him, actually, because he is incredibly hyperactive. His body is so sickeningly perfect all the time. Doesn't matter what he eats. He gets annoying every now and then. And Jeannie, come compete with me. Jeannie, Jeannie, Jeannie. Oh. And it's not like I can't live with him. It's just after this entire trip, I've realized I absolutely cannot live without him. He's my best friend in the world, and he is the most unbelievable travel companion. Glad we did this. Come to think about it, his body is still looking sickeningly perfect, and after traveling the world, first class, five star, all the way, all I paid was five kilograms. I'd always come to Mauritius with the picture in my head that it's all about hotel life, which it is really. The cities and the villages are beautiful to visit for a cultural experience, and I did exactly that. This is incredible, it's Shiva, what exactly is it? Uh, Shiva normally would be the principal god of the Hindus, as you can see here, it's well defined and uh, makes approximately 108 feet above the height. Second tallest statue in the world of Shiva. The statue is absolutely magnificent. It almost looks like it's copper. Oh, uh, no, it's not copper. It will be with concrete and steel. And normally, 21 person from India come here to craft this. And that's why it's very rare that in Mauritius. And normally it takes them two years, starting in 2005 to, till 2007. Even though it's not necessarily my religion, I definitely believe in having respect for other people's religion. And when you see such a great temple, you can't help but feel overwhelmed at its beauty and its mass, and that people took so much time to craft something that they believe in. I only had a couple of hours, and I, I wanted to get in a brisk walk, so I went to go and see just the most beautiful valleys and riverines and waterfalls. It was completely picturesque. I always thought of Mauritius as a little island with pristine white beaches, but having a look at all of these beautiful valleys here at Black River Gorge, it's amazing to think that the island is actually 1,860 square kilometers, and it's made up completely of beautiful, lush land. It's incredible. It was good to get some exercise, fresh air, nice brisk walk, and the scenery was fantastic. There's so many walkways in all of these valleys in Mauritius, and the great part about it is that there's not one snake on the island. So you can literally walk around completely carefree. No fear in the world. Perfect setting for water skiing is here. Yeah, this looks amazing. And I'm gonna take you with me. Oh no, you're not. You tried water skiing with me once and unfortunately I ended up partially dying. <laughs> no man, but I have to make up for that disappointment in the Mediterranean. I want to show you that I'm actually a champion. I'm a winner for you. That's exactly why I won't be spending today with you. Enjoy. I've been to Mauritius so many times and I'm an activities girl. Yanez is a competitive boy, so I, I just had enough of it and I wanted to do a lot of things in a short period of time where I know when Yanez hits those skis, he just wants to go and go and go all day. You guys ready? I don't know what's wrong with me, I always get nervous. I think it's the camera. This resort is actually unbelievable. It's on a point, on the outside is the ocean, and on the inside you have this beautiful lagoon, and this offers you everything. You can go water skiing, you can go kite surfing, you can go scuba diving. So it's basically a playground for the boys. The fact that Jeannie wasn't there, I think it almost gave me free, freedom of expression. I was able to, to perfect the art. Bruno, 
Hi. <laughs> How are you? I'm great. I think Inez is safely out of distance, so we can go on my private cruise now. <laughs> With pleasure. Please come in. May I help you? Thank you. Okay. The truth. Six months. 26 destinations. I didn't want Inez to see me in a bikini. He would have been very disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, my body was looking sensational and then I went and put on weight. The problem is I'm not bothered about it because I know I'll drop it quickly. And also, what is that in the greater scheme of things if you consider some of the things that I've done? And I don't regret every little bit of, every little morsel I put in my mouth because it's been delicious the whole way. I ate myself through 26 countries. <laughs> oh, shock horror. Hi. Hi, Bruno. Hi. I've actually just been thinking, aren't there sharks in these waters? No sharks here, no. You've got sharks behind the reef, but not where we're doing snorkeling actually now. Thank goodness for that, because then I can go snorkeling. With pleasure. But what makes this such a rare dive? It's a place which is protected. It's in, in the lagoon, in, in, the, in the reef. So um, this is no current and no nothing dangerous that you can have here. It's a very safe place. So I came on this private charter because I didn't want Inez to see me in a bikini. I'm afraid that includes you too. Ah, oh, snorkeling. It's one of my favorite things to do. It's just so peaceful. One with the fish. I've been on such a show. I was carving up that, that lake, moving from left to right. Started jumping the wake, then got a little bit more brave, jumping higher, throwing some flick flacks, you know, just waving to the crowd. I mean, there were people everywhere, just gathered along the banks, applauding me. I was, I, I was in my element. So the real reason why I didn't want to go skiing is because we've been traveling so long and we've really taken on every kind of adventure that we could possibly have imagined. So now on my way home, I've got to look recognizable by the time I get back to Cape Town. So now I just need some treatment. I had one of the most fantastic massages and it was in the middle of the most amazing garden. There were cranes there, ducks everywhere and it was just all open and so peaceful and that woman dug into my back. It was amazing. It was such a good massage. I want another one now. I always just zone out in a massage but I think now that we're nearing the end of our journey I was just taking in some of the places that we've been to and thinking about some of the things that we've done. Because it's, it's so easy to forget. Because we're on the move all the time, you almost take it for granted. And then when you take the time to sit and reflect on what you've done, it's, we've had an unbelievable time. We've done such amazing things. We are truly blessed to have been given this opportunity. You know, often I talk the talk and then sometimes I can't walk the walk. My forehand was just misfiring, couldn't keep my head down. There were people watching, it was making me nervous. <laughs> I haven't won a point yet, but I'm trying. I've spent the whole afternoon running around this resort and it's not small. I've gone around the beachfront, around the backside, through the hotel, to the spa, and I ended up at the tennis club where I've stayed. And still, no sign of Jeannie. She always does this to me. Runs away, doesn't tell me where she's going, and I end up wasting my time. Today I'm not wasting my time though. This resort has got one of the best tennis academies in the whole of Mauritius, and one of the best coaches. And he's gonna give me a lesson or two today. Carry on and see, see if I get better. Watch a couple more points. Thank you. 
Mauritius really is one of the most ideal gateways, from family holidays to honeymoons. But with so many resorts on the island, what really sets them apart is spa excellence. And this one really does have a balance with many of the modalities of well-being. And I certainly feel like I've been very well taken care of. In fact, you can even have your hair done here, so that by the time I get home, I'm going to look like me again. Why do people love coming to play tennis here? This is the best location you can imagine. Right by the bay. I've seen many of these resorts. I've never seen a location any better than this. And so you've got youngsters and professionals coming from all over the world yeah, to come actually, and train Yeah, we do. We do. We have uh, beginners. We have kids. We have next week. We have uh, some top uh, top ten players from the WTA coming down to practice. So yeah, we get players of all levels. So, so uh, what level would you say I'm at? Um, Good, but could get better. <laughs> you gotta play more than once per year if yeah. you want to improve. No, you, you know. do, you do. They say the way to a man's heart is through his stomach, and from what I've learned about Yanez, this is certainly the truth. But the only way I can make a good dinner is by making reservations. But what I've decided is to put myself to the test and create the ultimate final meal for my travel companion. Cooking Yanez a meal. What to cook a man who eats and eats and eats and eats and his body stays perfect. <laughs> curry. So, uh, chicken and prawn curry? Exactly. Okay, first things first, what do I need to do to start? You start with olive oil. It's not that I've resisted cooking, it's just I've never had the time to do it. This is going to be absolutely delicious. And this is so a traditional Mauritian dish? It's, uh, yes, exactly. This is typical uh, from Indian in style, you know, curry, Indian and Mauritian. I mean, if anybody should know how to cook, it's probably me, because I've spent more time with the greatest chefs in the world than anyone else. So I really should know how to cook. It's just, I've never done it. I've never tried. That tough. I don't know what anyone is talking about. You basically just put something in the pan and salt now. Okay, a pinch of salt. Perfect. Got to make quite a healthy curry for Yanez because he's lost a bit of his shape. <laughs> We're trying to get him back in shape. He's going to kill me for saying that. And this seems like quite a simple dish to make if you just throw all the ingredients in. Yeah. Basic ingredients were olive oil, chicken. Okay, I guess I won't be making that one again. <laughs> I can't remember what goes into it. So do we just put curry into a curry, or yes. are there rare flavors that go it into it? It will be mainly a, a curry paste, which is made with this kind of uh, spices. So this is cumin, masala mix, and turmeric powder. Curry, masala, I think it was masala curry. <laughs> so once the chicken starts to brown, that's where we add the shrimp. Yes. A little while longer, I think. We don't want to get salmonella. <laughs> <laughs> salmonella. We? Okay. Okay, this looks about ready. Okay, let's, let's add half of the shrimp. Half of the shrimp. Now. Mm. I'm a brilliant chef already. <laughs> you mustn't give me all of your tips. You never know, I might come and work here. Why not? <laughs> we will employ you. <laughs> I don't know about that. The whole and spice? Nice, a big spoon. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> come on. Please, remove some. It's Is too it much. too much? Yeah, yeah, it's too much. It's a huge disaster. You should see this, the amount of... Uh, of the spice and the chili, it was too strong. I put a bit too much curry in. I definitely put a bit too much curry in. But I can handle chili, you know, must learn how to. And I'm sure that the guests will have a, a huge sunburn. Sorry, boss. You're the chef. Oh, look at that. Oh, a block of cheese. No, this Thank is you. potato. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this bowl was there, and I was convinced that it was, they were blocks of cheese. <laughs> I honestly, I cannot tell you why I thought cheese would go into this curry. I, I don't know. Merci beaucoup. Pleasure. What do we do? Just let it... We'll just wait. Yeah, wait. 
Okay, perfect. This is easy enough. <laughs> I'm quite nervous about this meal that I cooked you. I hope it's going to be tasty. Although I didn't put a lot of salt and pepper in it because I thought you had enough in your hair. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> you know what I'm nervous about tonight? I'm looking at the setting and thinking you might propose to me. <laughs> you know, yeah. I can quite safely say after this trip, <laughs> I will never marry you. <laughs> and do you honestly, in your wildest dreams, Expect that I'm gonna believe that you cooked a meal. We've traveled for five months. You haven't even made me Marmite on toast, and now suddenly, Jeannie's made this fantastic meal. <laughs> it took me a moment to to actually believe her because Jeannie's never cooked for me. So I promise you, I made it, and Including it's going to be delicious. No, I really made it tonight. I really, really did. And it's going to be delicious. It's going to be delicious. Really. He didn't believe I cooked it. <laughs> Let's face it. Why would he? Hello, Chef. Hello. Okay, please tell him that I made it. Yes, for sure. Really? But you have to try. How much did she pay you? <laughs> <laughs> I waited with such anticipation. I really, really wanted to make him proud. And I waited. And I waited. And I waited. He was really irritating me. Why was he doing that? It was like... <sighs> huffing and puffing. Just put the fork in your mouth already. Hey, your nose. Very nice. Very nice. Nice with a lot of milk and a lot of water. <laughs> mm. <laughs> the meal was great. She did really well. I'm so proud of that girl. No, baby, you did well. Give me a kiss. Come here. Mwah. Mwah. No, is it really nice? It's really it's good. I promise you. It's really nice. You know what? I'll let you cook for me again. It would be an honor if you cooked for me on a daily basis. <laughs> now that won't be happening. You know what's really special though, Jeans? Mm -hmm. We've spent such a long time traveling throughout the world. We knew, we knew each other quite well before, but I'd say officially now, we don't get irritated with each other. We actually enjoy each other's company. And I think we're really good friends. <laughs> you think? <laughs> I think so. I think we should do this all over again, actually. Okay. <laughs> One day. Enjoy season three. <laughs> <laughs> Our final curtain call. Oh, it's so sad. I don't want it to be over. I'm so sad, man. I've had such a blast. Jeannie and I, oh, we've had the best time of our lives. I've had the most unbelievable time. I'm completely in love with my job. And it's just been incredible. I'm, I'm, I'm sad. We saw the world. We came there. We conquered. We experienced. We, we got the photos and we got the video to show as well. <laughs> I'm looking forward to going home, looking forward to seeing my friends and family, but it feels so strange. I haven't seen them in such a long time. It's, it's going to be amazing. <laughs> Safari is probably mine and Yanez's favorite thing to do because it's just non-stop adventure. Now I don't know about Jeannie, but the only thing I really want to see is one of those white lions. <laughs>